Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the pro features available in the Publish Press Authors plugin, which is the best way to add multiple authors to a single WordPress post. I have an example of Publish Press Authors in front of me here. You can see underneath the content, there are two authors applied to this single post. And if I go to edit it, I can scroll down to the right sidebar and I can add more authors as well. If I view the post on the front of the site, I now have three authors on this single post. What I'm going to do is show you how you can customize the layout of these author profiles. If you go to your WordPress admin area, go to dashboard, authors, settings, and click on the display tab, you'll see a layout option and we are using the boxed layout at the moment. Also available are centered, inline, inline with avatars, and simple list as well. So if we want to change what the display of our authors looks like on the front of the site, we need to customize this boxed layout. And if we're using the pro version, that's gonna be available under the layouts tab here. So if I go to layouts and I look for boxed, I can click on edit and I'm going to be able to see the code that controls this particular version of the author's display. So let me open up the front of the site again. And we are working on this post here, my published post. And this is what the display looks like. This is what we're going to customize. In this part of the video, I'm going to take a slightly different approach. On the top part of this screen, I have my boxed layout and I have the code that I'm going to be modifying. You can find this by going to authors and layouts and then clicking on boxed. And down below, I have the output from this boxed layout. So let's take a quick look down. At the top, we have an H2 tag, which is showing the title. This is what is producing the authors tag down here. And then if you read a little bit further in the code, we have a loop. And what this does is run every time there is an extra author. So in order to show Nicolette, we run through this loop once, and then to show Ray, we run through this loop a second time. So as you look down through the code, you can see that we have the avatar for the authors, and by default, it is set to be 160 pixels square. So if I was to increase that to 260, we should see that the size of the avatars is going to increase significantly. I'm going to click on update. And then if I refresh the page down here, if we scroll a little bit further down below the avatar area, we can see that the author's display name and the author's description are also visible under here. I'm just going to add a little bit of text so you can see how this appears on the site. And it's also going to give visitors just a little bit of clarity as to exactly what information we're showing. I've entered the name next to the author's name, and I'm going to move down inside the paragraph, which is containing the description or the bio of the author and put a little bio label in there as well. So if I click on update and refresh the author's profile, we should now see that it's clear. This is the name of the person and this is the bio of the person. So it is possible to put some regular HTML inside here. This code is written in Twig. Twig takes perfectly normal HTML, 
so you can add h2 paragraph tags href tags and you can add your own css directly inside here as well so your next question may be this is great i can customize the basic information inside the layouts but how do i add my own profile information how do i expand on the information available for each author well you can do that with the fields option which is also available in the pro version of authors at the moment there are no default fields we can click on new author field and i'm going to add a new field called location this is going to be just a very simple text field so people can show where they're based as an author i will publish the field go to authors and i will edit nicolette I will edit her author profile. I will scroll down and there's the location field. I'm going to enter New York. And we also have Ray in the example you can see on the screen here. So again, on the author's screen, I'm going to edit Ray, click edit author profile. The location is going to be London. I'll click on update and now I can go back to my layout. I'm going to edit the boxed layout. And if you look in the right sidebar, location is now available as a field that I can add into my custom layout. What I'm going to do is take the left side of this data. So the left side before was display underscore name or link or description or user underscore email. In this case, it is location all lowercase. And I'm going to add a new line in here. I'm going to label it clearly so you can see what I'm doing. Author dot location and I'm missing a space before the author text there. So this is what my new location field is going to look like. I'm going to click on update. And then if I refresh the front end of the site, you should see that the location is now available. Nicolette is indeed in New York and Ray is indeed in London. Let me take you through a slightly more complicated example this time. We're going to add their Twitter profile link so that people can automatically click on a link and see where Nicolette and Ray are posting on social media. To create this Twitter field, let's go to authors and then fields. I will click on new author field and I'm going to call this Twitter. And when it comes to these different options, I can choose link. I can click on publish. And then if I go to authors and I'm going to edit Nicolette, I'm going to edit her author profile. And Twitter will be, and I'll put in a fake account here. But that is conceivably a real Twitter URL. I'll click on update, and then I'll go back to authors. I'll go to Ray. I will edit his author profile. I'll go to Twitter, and this one will be just testing. Ray. Okay. And I now have two authors that have Twitter profile links and I'll go to layouts and I'll go to edit the box layout again. Over here on the right sidebar, 
I'm looking on the left side of this and Twitter is going to be the field name that I'm going to use. Okay, let's take a look. We have location, which is the field we added to our layout earlier. I will just duplicate that quickly. Okay, Twitter and Twitter. I'll update the text. I'm going to go ahead and click update for this layout. And let me take a look at Nicolette and Ray's profile down here. Okay, so we do have the URL inside here, but this is actually basically regular old HTML. And we haven't yet added the href part of the link. So what I'm going to do is add the href part of this. And the text will be click to visit me on Twitter. Let me update that. And let's take a look at their profiles now. And there we go. These are active links. And if I click this, I will visit Nicolette. And if I click this, I will visit Ray on Twitter. There is one thing you might be thinking about that could make this look even cooler. You could take the display name field and you could add it inside the actual link. So if we click update for that particular setting and revisit the author layout, Nick Led's name is automatically added to her link and Ray's name is automatically added to his link. Now, I probably haven't done the best layout choices in the world by adding paragraph tags around here. I may want to clean this up a little by using perhaps page break lines instead, but you get the idea. Let me update and see what this looks like with page breaks instead of paragraph tags. Okay, that's definitely a little better. We may need a little bit more CSS and a little bit of tweaking to get this author profile layout looking perfect and matching our theme, but you get the idea. With Publish Press Authors Pro, you can use the fields and the layouts options to create really good looking, stylish and useful layouts for authors on your site. The free version of Published Press Authors is available on WordPress.org and it comes with fixed layouts. The pro version of Published Press Authors is available on PublishedPress.com and comes with these additional customizable layouts and fields that we've introduced you to in this video.